Hi everybody! I moved. This is my new kitchen and new house. See? I have a hood, nice hood, and so really ventilate very well. Nice stove and my nice workplace. But the water faucet is in behind me. You know, for me, best of best kitchen, especially to make a cooking video, I like to have fire and water and workplace. And then I don't have to go anywhere. Just uh, I make this everything. I'm going to be very busy, going and coming, going and coming, and between here and my sink. <laughs> this is going to be my first video. I'm so excited. This recipe is very, very delicious. Korean street snack. Hot dog. You know that how many people you guys have you made my hot dog? Usually people think hot dog is a Korean pancake, sweet pancakes inside filled with syrup. Hot, hot, you know, sugar syrup. But today is the yache hot dog. Yache means vegetables in Korean. A lot of my readers who visited Korea, they just asked me, Mangchi, I want to make that Korean yache hot dog. How can I make it? Yache hot dog in Korea, famous places in Korean Namdaemun Market in Seoul. Last year, you know, I visited Korea in November. And then I went to Namdaemun Market, and then I found this yache hot dog sold just there on the street. I kind of, you know, oh, yache hot dog can be delicious. I was kind of suspicious. But after tasting, oh, it tastes really great. No wonder why people love it. People are lining up to eat this yache hot dog. It tastes like a croquet. You can eat this as a snack, or you can eat this just, a, you know, simple meal even. First, we gotta make dough. This is boiling water around one third cup. Like this. And then let's fill it up with cold water so that the water is going to be very mild, like lukewarm. Why? We are going to use dry yeast. If this water is too hot, dry yeast is going to all dead. Two tablespoons white sugar. I'm going to use this uh, active dry yeast. One package, around two teaspoons. Well mix. Half a teaspoon salt. Oil. Vegetable oil, one tablespoon. Then mix well. We have yeast water. We are going to use all-purpose flour, two cups. My cup is uh, one cup, it's a 240 milliliter. I weighed my one cup flour, that was five ounces. So you are going to use two cups, which means 10 ounces flour. All-purpose. <laughs> Easy, isn't it? Everybody, this, this dough is awesome. I love my dough ratio. Use your wooden spoon. I'm using my rice scoop. And then we are going to let it sit until it rises to double size, like this. One hour passed. Let's see. And also I'm boiling water in a large pot. Uh, because we have to cook noodles. Noodles, why noodles? Probably you guys are wondering. Okay. See, one hour. Wow, it smells yeast smell. This time, let's use hands. Usually when you need some dough, like uh, using hole in your fist, but this one is very sticky. That's why I use this method, just like this. Nice. So let it keep rising. We need to cook noodles. Before that, I need to wash my hands. This is my pillow. Noodle pillow. These noodles are made with starch, sweet potato starch. 
very clear when it's cooked, clear, translucent, and chewy. So Korean japchae, when you make japchae, you need to use these noodles. We need only three ounces. My water is already boiling. And then, oh, yes, yeah. It takes time to make it really soft, tender, and cooked. It takes around six minutes. Noodles are done. Then turn off, and I'm going to strain this. I'm going to chop up these noodles, and I'll put it this here, like this. It's fun using this scissors, cutting this way, actually really fun. I'm going to season and stir fry these noodles with a seasoning sauce. And also we are going to add in you know, vegetables, chopped vegetables, but noodles, I like, I like to make it a little salty. And then later I don't have to add any salt anymore. So I'm going to stir fry and noodles. This is a medium heat. Sugar, one tablespoon, like a japchae noodles. This is soy sauce, two tablespoons. Ground black pepper, just a little bit, quarter teaspoon. See, beautiful, dark brown color and shiny. This noodle even by itself looks delicious. Just let it cook a couple of minutes. Turn off. Then let's add sesame oil, one teaspoon. Put this here. I'm comfortable working right next to water. Carrot, onion, and puchu, so Asian chives. All this is three ounces, three ounces. And this is a, like I'm going to use just a half. I already peeled, washed. Small pieces like that. Add this here. Onion around one medium size. This amount. This one also, you don't have to really finely chop, just cut it into small pieces like this. This Asian chives is three ounces. I just wash this old wash clean. Mix well. Look at this colorful, beautiful. Eh? Filling is done. And then cooking. So you can see the cooking more in details because uh, my stove is right here and my dough is ready. Wow, already my dough is really up, coming up. This dough is very sticky. So I'm going to use some cooking oil. This is vegetable oil. All the time I'm going to dip my hand here. I will just use deep frying. Near Namdemu market, they deep fry lots of oil and really sizzling oil and then they fry until like all sides are golden brown, crispy, crunchy. And inside is really, really hot. And then I'm going to use that method, but you guys are worried about this calorie, you can pan fry. I need to wait until this oil is really hot, around 350 in Fahrenheit. 
during short period like this guys are already really swelled. Okay. So let's see if this oil is hard enough. You see not many bubbles are coming up. So I'm going to wait a little bit. It's bubbling, right? So this is the right temperature. I'm going to lower the heat to medium. I don't want to burn this hot back. About this amount. Maybe around one third cup amount. Just spread this like that. And then let's add this. A lot, see? It's making shape. This is a very challenging, you know, because we gotta, we gotta feel as much as we can. Fry this until both sides are crunchy and golden brown crunchy. And also you will see that sometimes it doesn't have to be perfectly like a cover, but sometimes there is a hole. From the hole you will see that uh, some steam coming out, that means a little well cooked. So it's like some donut, but tastes like a really croquet. All the ends close. Whatever method you use you with your fingers, there is a little hole that's okay. Flip it over. Always control your heat. So when if this is a burnt too much like turning the brown, you should turn down the you know, heat. Wow, well, hot. When it's really hot, it has to be served. My last hot dog, this guy is so plump now. Going up and up. And I'm going to press down. Turn off. Wow. I made all this nine hot dog. Nine hot dog. Still some leftover. Keep in the refrigerator. You can stir fry and eat. Let's taste. Hmm. Hmm. Savory. Savory taste. A little sweet. Just tastes like just croquet. Today we made yache hot dog. Hot dog filled with vegetables and noodles. Really tasty. You should make this for your family and friends. And then let me know how yours turns out. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.